Tensions soared when shots were fired at a Trump campaign rally, with an assailant reportedly targeting the former president, grazing his ear with a bullet, and tragically leaving at least one attendee dead. While the full impact of this shocking event on the presidential race and its place in history remains uncertain, reactions are all echoing one undeniable truth. The situation in this country has spiraled out of control. The scene unfolded moments after Donald Trump took the stage in Butler, Pennsylvania, for a rally just ahead of the Republican National Convention, which is set to kick off on July 15th in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. While delivering a speech about immigration, the former president was stopped mid-sentence as the undeniable sound of gunshots rang out. As the moment quickly unfolded, Trump can be seen grabbing his ear before quickly dropping to the ground. Wasting no time, Secret Service agents quickly crowded the stage to protect the presidential candidate. Still flanked by agents, he was quickly escorted off stage with blood visible on his ear. Both sides of the political aisle were quick to condemn the shocking attack, which CNN reports was carried out by a 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. President Biden described the shooting, writing that, quote, there's no place for this kind of violence in America before calling on Americans to unite as one nation to condemn it. His comments were quickly echoed across the political spectrum. Reactions to the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump were swift and resounding, with a near-unanimous consensus declaring that the violence and vitriol have gotten out of hand. Josh Shapiro, the Democratic governor of Pennsylvania, called the shooting absolutely unacceptable, dubbing the moment painful and shocking before urging Americans to stand firmly against violence. Former Presidents Barack Obama and George W. Bush were also among those to speak out after the watershed moment. Obama shared on X, There is absolutely no place for political violence in our democracy. We should all be relieved that former President Trump wasn't seriously hurt and use this moment to recommit ourselves to civility and respect in our politics. Meanwhile, Bush dubbed the event a, quote, cowardly attack, but was grateful that Trump was safe. Former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney called the attack horrifying, adding that violence of any kind has no place in American politics. Former Congressman Joe Walsh didn't mince words in his response to the shooting, writing, "...political violence, no matter where it comes from, is always wrong. Always." Walsh also reminded his followers that, quote, "...nobody has encouraged and incited political violence these past nine years more than Donald Trump has." Politicians weren't the only ones to speak out following that assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. While there are reports of at least one casualty, a social media user took to X to say they are grateful things didn't turn out worse. They shared, There is no place for this kind of political violence, no matter political affiliation. I think we can all agree that this is a sad and unacceptable situation. It's unreal how close it came to an even worse end. Another declared, Preventing events like this and working to end gun violence should also be bipartisan. A third added, we need to end the divisiveness and animosity for the sake of a united America. 